Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to explore uh, the entire process of extracting single cycles from the hysteresis loop obtained from pushover analysis. In the context of uh, seismic performance assessment, single cycles are very important because these single cycles provide some valuable insights on uh, residual drifts, damage accumulation, energy dissipation, cycle-wise capacity and uh, it also helps us in identifying the critical cycles. Also, when comparing experimental results with uh, analytical models, focusing on uh, single cycles gives a more detailed validation and calibration process. Engineers can uh, assess how well the analytical model replicates the observed behavior during individual loading cycles, which helps in improving the accuracy of the analytical model. Before we dive deep into today's tutorial, I want to take a moment to thank all our subscribers. Your support really motivates us to consistently provide uh, valuable content in a timely manner. But at present, 80% of our viewers have not subscribed yet. If you like our content but have not uh, subscribed yet, I request you to please subscribe to our channel. It's a small action that goes a long way in encouraging us to create more tutorials like this. Let's dive into today's tutorial. This is the Python code uh, that we have written to extract single cycles from the given uh, hysteresis data. These are the libraries that we are using in this uh, tutorial. First one is uh, matplotlib for plotting purposes. NumPy and pandas are for uh, data management purposes. And this uh, URL LIB, we use it to load the data stored in a specific URL. And these are all some uh, plot settings I am using. So here in this URL, uh, the experimental data is specified. And this experimental data is taken from peer database. Here I have given this uh, hyperlink. So this is the data that we are using in this tutorial. Here it is given this uh, force displacement data. If you open it, this one, this is the force displacement data. This ideally we have to save it into a text file and then we have to load it into our uh, Python code. But this URL LIB library uh, bypasses this uh, saving and loading operations. It directly extracts the data in the URL into this temporary file and then using this uh, pandas library we extract the data in the temporary file to a pandas data frame like that after storing the data in the pandas data frame we convert the data into a numpy array using this uh, to numpy function of pandas if i look at it this is the test data this is displacement and this is force this is how our uh, reverse cyclic plot looks here i am doing this uh, a small interpolation operation this interpolation operation is may not be necessary in this uh, single cycles but this interpolation operation is very essential when you are uh, deriving quantities such as energy dissipation residual drifts etc so what this interpolation does is if i look at the original test data the difference between any two points may not be consistent throughout the data sometimes it is small sometimes it is large just to bypass these irregularities, I am doing this interpolation. If you look at the plot uh, showing the original test data versus uh, the interpolated data, here I have plotted uh, two cows. So here the blue one represents uh, the original test data and the red one represents the data. Here, if you look at both the original test data and the interpolated data, looks almost same. The interpolation does not affect the originality of the data. So from now onwards, I will be using this uh, interpolated data we are going to extract the single cycles from this interpolated data next after interpolation we are going to uh, extract uh, the row beginning and the ending numbers of each cycle so if you look at the test data in this test data we have eight cycles and each cycle has a specific starting point and a specific ending point we have to extract that uh, starting and ending points such that we will use them in extracting the cycle wise force versus displacement data here i have written a key called uh, cycle key this cycle key tells whether uh, we need to extract the single cycle starting from zero force to zero force or zero displacement to zero displacement means if you want to extract the cycle starting from zero displacement to zero displacement so it means you have to use the key disp or if you want to extract the single cycle starting from zero force to zero force you have to use the force key what is this uh, zero force and uh, zero displacement so if you look at uh, the plot of one cycle so this cycle is developed by setting cycle key is equal to disp it means so it started at zero displacement and uh, counts all the points and uh, end at uh, zero displacement so here 
the cycle starts at zero displacement and ends at zero displacement it means uh, the zero displacement occurs only on the y axis that is force axis in this problem for example if i use force here in this key what happens is we get a plot like this so here it started at a zero force and uh, it went all the way and uh, end at zero force so this is the major difference between uh, the cycle key disp versus force you can use either a force or a displacement key as per your need but in general uh, using a disp that is starting from zero displacement to zero displacement is more convenient for extracting uh, residual displacements energy dissipations etc so hence i'm using displacement key for our future studies uh, if i look at uh, how i'm extracting this is our uh, individual displacement data of all cycles here we are starting from this point to this point for first cycle and for the second cycle we are starting from this point to this point and for the third cycle we are starting from this point all the way to this point likewise we go in each and every cycle so in this particular uh, logic what we are doing is we are extracting uh, the starting row number and the ending row number of each cycle so the starting row number here is one and the ending row number is some value and uh, here the starting row number of second cycle and here the ending row number of uh, second cycle likewise we evaluate uh, the beginning and the ending row ids of each cycle and uh, those beginning and ending uh, row ids we will use them in the displacement and the force data to extract each individual cycle so this is the main uh, core logic after that the process is just a cakewalk it's just uh, plotting in the way you want this code is a uh, little generalized means uh, if you look at uh, this displacement data so the starting curve starts from zero and went in the positive direction sometimes in some displacement data you will have the opposite the starting curve starts in the negative direction so this code will take care of that how you are starting so in which direction whether it is in the positive direction or it is in the negative direction it will take care of that so if you want to know the total number of cycles uh, available in this data you can just uh, take a look at the size of this list so here the size represents the total number of cycles after extracting the row beginning and ending numbers of uh, individual cycles we will just uh, use them in plotting in the way we want for example here i have plotted for uh, three if you want you can plot for fourth cycle this is it so here uh, the background uh, one represents the full cycle data and the red one represents the fourth cycle data that we have mentioned here for example if you want to plot cycle number two you just give that cycle number and yet this plots the cycle number two data for example sometimes you may want to study the behavior of uh, two cycles in one plot so here you can plot like that you can give any cycle number and uh, get the plot this is it here the red one represents cycle number three and the green one represents cycle number one the one that we are specified is plotted here sometimes it is very useful to see all cycles in one plot so here we have made that uh, arrangements to display all plots in a nested subplot format so this code plots like this these are all uh, different ways of plotting this uh, single cycles data in our next tutorials we will see how to extract uh, the residual drift data and uh, the backbone curves and how to plot specific load points such as peak load ultimate load etc you can download this source code the instructions to download this source code are given in the first pinned comment so please give a try and if you have any questions or if you get stuck somewhere please do let us know in the comment section see you in the next tutorial if you have any questions or suggestions we recommend you to please write them in the comment section below the video if you like our content please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel happy learning thank you